Of all the departments in the city, perhaps the most unique is found behind the blue wall at 6901 Wadsworth Boulevard. It's the Arvada Center for the Arts and Humanities. The Arvada Center is one of the largest multidisciplinary art centers in the country. From its shows, to its galleries, to its classrooms, visitors here engage in exploring the arts. Some of them are theater goers and they come just for the theater. Some of them love visual art and they'll come for that and never buy a theater ticket. Others come to learn. With over 900 classes annually, the education division stays very busy. One look at the winter, spring, or summer catalogs tells the story. Popular dance and theater classes have actually led to the formation of the Arvada Center Dance Academy and more recently, the Arvada Center Theater Academy. Beyond classes, the so-called Arts Day also takes it a step further. The program ties grade-level curriculum and educational objectives to the arts and serves about 40,000 visitors a year. And we have over 50 different workshops that we have developed specifically to be adapted to different grade levels. Whether it's Colorado history, African history, or some other topic, some Arts Day groups come just for the workshops. Others combine a visit to the galleries or enjoy the professional children's theater performance. With two performances a day, Tuesday through Saturday, as many as a thousand children a day join the general public to take in shows like No Dogs Allowed being offered this fall. Okay. Surfing the Education Division's website reveals the full treasure trove of opportunities, including for the first time this year, professional development training for teachers as well. When it comes to visual arts, 10,000 square feet of gallery space sprawl across three spacious galleries, providing plenty of room to showcase regional and nationally recognized works. The galleries are very, very important. I think it's what separates us from a place like the Denver Center for the Performing Arts or other performing arts centers. Exhibitions change several times each year under the watchful eye of our Vada Center exhibition manager and curator Colin Parson and other gallery staff. The fall exhibitions bring a local collection of Mexican art to one gallery, while ceramics will fill the other two galleries, including a project with ENSICA, the National Council on Education for the Ceramic Arts, and an exhibition that showcases family legacies in ceramics. Backstage, the Performing Arts Division is busy creating the next theater season. It opens in September with Camelot. I think it's probably one of our strongest seasons. I, I literally just left a meeting where we were discussing the fight scenes um, and the sword fighting and what type of swords, what type of shields and the weaponry they would use. Though there are many versions of Camelot, Lansbury says the Arvada Centers will be true to his motto of you may have seen it before, but you haven't seen it at the Arvada Center. So we're keeping it realistic historically, but then that fantasy element just enhances the piece. In deciding this year's season, the opinions of loyal audiences count big time. To let them know how important they are to us, we really wanted to reach out and say, you know, yes, we want your input. And that's why we're bringing in Camelot and Tarzan. Tarzan promises summer fun at the end of the season. Yes, we will have a flying Tarzan. He will swing by the vines. Um, it's a wonderful piece um, with music by Phil Collins. Another audience fave, A Christmas Carol, returns for the holidays, again with the Arvada Center's unique stamp. Rounding out the season, Around the World in 80 Days, presented by Creed Repertory an Agatha Christie mystery, The Mousetrap, an intense piece about Judy Garland titled End of the Rainbow, and a literary classic, The Great Gatsby. For us, it, it's, it's a very exciting season, not only because we're looking forward to our audiences enjoying it, but it also brings a, a lot of challenge to all of our craftspeople, our directors, our choreographers, our musical directors. I mean, it's a, a, an exciting season for us to get our, sink our teeth into and really bring it to our audience. New for the Arvada Center this year, the Marquee Club for people who have donated at least $300 or more annually. Kind of an inside club for insiders who have made a bigger commitment to us. Perks will include things like special receptions and opportunities to mingle with artists and performers. As always, it's a busy and exciting time for the Arvada Center for the Arts and Humanities.
Looking ahead, Sneed, who is in his first year as executive director, hopes to expand the role of the humanities. The humanities touch on all of the arts in some way, and I think it's a way to tell the story about the arts better is through the humanities.